I am coming out of my fever dreams to remind y'all that for like three weeks I've been saying the very end of July, the very start of August, we really need to be watching for hurricane action. And check this shit out, man. You got three lemons to deal with. Maybe they'll all go up and puffy and nothing will happen. Maybe one of them will turn into a major hurricane. But either way, August, September, and October are the main big threat season area period zone cycles for hurricane activity. Doom, 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 be do, be doom, 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 wah. And yeah, dude, having the ocean not only by Florida be like 101 degrees, the ocean waters by East Canada are super duper hot. The Mediterranean ocean waters are record heat hot. Deep sea volcanoes? Anyway, these are crazy days, man. And I'm pretty much 100% convinced that the next year is going to be super duper wild. Remember how strange the weather was in 2017 leading up to and after this? Total solar eclipse over the United States of America. Why not expect the same shit this time, man? Except for maybe even more intense. Crazy days indeed, dudes, y'all. This is Italy. That looks like a spaceship alien storm. But it's not. It's just a stormy storm. Hey, not now, supermassive black hole spitting high energy jet towards Earth. We're already dealing with a lot of shit, you know? Zip, zap, pow. Oh, yeah. It's about to get real wild. It's like uh, Venus retrograde day three. How's it treating you? So LeBron James's son suffered a cardiac arrest during a USC workout. And then like 10 minutes later, Elon showed up and was like, hey, was it the vaccine that did it to him? We don't know for sure, but please, everybody come on tw X and discuss LeBron's kid and whether or not the vaccine is the thing that may have killed him or almost killed him. Which, you know, I don't know, man. Dude's like, oh. And remember the, the vaccines were rolled out under the Trump warp speed vaccine thing. And Elon has gotten four vaccines. Does that mean that we should be worried Elon is going to have a heart attack in the near future? And if Elon did die, you know, between now and the end of summer 2024, how would that affect Tesla stock and SpaceX and X and AI? And anyway, just everything's dystopian, creepy, nihilistic. Um, social media pudding, but be sure and subscribe to Elon on Twitter or whatever. And then there was some country singer who's 30, who got blood clots. And, 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 you know, I got the vaccine three times. And so for two years, everybody was like, oh, tons of people were like, you're going to die. hundred percent. You're going to die in the next two years, you know? And so I think that's why I got so fat is because everybody was telling me, dude, you 100% chance you're going to die in the next few years because you took the vaccine. I was like, fuck, man. I might as well eat eat like I was dying, you know, like Tim McGraw. And then I go skydiving and ride a bull named Fu Manchu or whatever. And anyway, two years later, my fat ass is still alive. But I still live like every day could be my last. Thunderstorm warnings today. I'm going to survive. You're going to survive. We're going to survive. This is Asteroid fucking Fight Club. And we are amazing. But you got to make good choices and play good defense. <sighs> Check this out. This is today. Tomorrow. This looks pretty nasty. Remember? Oh, someone in the comments told me. Hold on. Craig letting me and us know that Nova Scotia got totally rocked. He can't drive all our roads and bridges washed or gone. 300 millimeters of rain in eight hours. His uncle's house got washed away. He's disabled. Fire rescue had to get him. Prayers up, man. Hope you and your family are safe and Nova Scotia doing better today. The Russian mercenary Wagner Group, the 11th Wagner Convoy, has arrived in Belarus. And it has a bunch of armored vehicles. Remember they were talking about like Poland, belong, parts of Poland belong to Russia. Man, if somehow they 
they went after part of Poland right now. Oh, that would definitely be a be a that would that would definitely escalate everything. And dude, I have been so sick the last week. I don't know what it was because once I got sick, I just pretty much stayed home for a week, slept. Um, but it was horrible. And so, I mean, I think there's a wave of some shit going around, whether it's COVID or not. Whatever it is, it's very bad. I coughed like a hundred thousand times. Well, actually, just like a thousand. But towards the middle of the end, I was like, any one of these coughs, I feel like it end my heart. Anywho, I'm just saying, but that's one of the one things. As I have said before, the coronavirus is, has been definitely deadly. And yes, some people have had adverse side effects to the jab. But it is crazy that like one side thinks there's a 0% chance of harmful effects from the jab. And the other side acts like there's 0% chance of harmful effects from the damn virus. I know the whole world's lost its damn mind, man. And a few of those people have a sense of humor. Now we got to worry about cocaine sharks. If a shark approaches you asking to do a bump, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Because I'm super shy, super shy. Hey, congratulations to the team, sirs. And UPS. I text my friend the minute I heard the news that works for UPS and has worked there forever. One of my best friends, one of the coolest dudes I've ever met. It's like, hey, man, congratulations. He's like, thanks. Now let me go back to sleep, dude. And I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, because I text him. Anyway. Um, yeah. Strange days indeed, my friends. Try and keep a sense of humor. I'm going to stay optimistic just because I'm, that's me. So yeah, I mean, Trump got vaccinated. Elon got vaccinated. Like, I got, I don't know, I got vaccinated. That Like, although, if you remember, I was always pro-choice. Like, if you don't want to take it, don't take it. Like, if you, if you want to take it, take it. That's your call. And I said, yeah, there's a chance it's going to harm you. And the fact that everybody's still fighting, arguing about it now, that is so Americana now. Yeah, myocarditis is a side effect of COVID as well. I don't know, man. People are strange when you're a stranger. Wouldn't it be crazy if one day in the near future, just a bunch of giant Taylor Swift robots pop out of pink boxes and kill us all? That would be weird. A Russian fighter jet shot at a U.S. Reaper drone with flares over Syria. Hey, wait, wasn't Syria the country that John Teeter said was going to cause World War III? In 2015, yes, it was. But Asteroid Fight Club avoided World War III, and everybody, you know, all the cool people, avoided World War III in 2015, and we've avoided World War III every single day since then. Congratulations, team. Yeah, the wildfires in Greece and uh, Italy right now are, are pretty insane. It's all very doomy right now. In good news, though, Willie Nelson is still not dead. And while I'm being real with it, because there have been reports that, like, Joel Rogan continually turns down the opportunity to interview Trump on his podcast. And so Joe Rogan's not the biggest Trump fan. I've never, like, Trump's been super famous my entire life. I've never thought he's that great, that cool. He's not my cup of tea, man. And that's okay, you know. You ain't gotta, anyway, I'm just saying. And then Obama's personal chef drowned and died. And, and then that kicked off the, like, the pol the political gossiping like just on super crazy levels that I hadn't seen since Jamie Foxx got injured and it does blow my mind the amount of political gossiping that adult males do nowadays there you go but in good news some of the grocers have removed the cookies that had rocks in them <laughs> what okay how oh, is this 
video 10 minutes. I guess there's a lot to talk about. Buckle up, stay cool, and get right with God. It's going to be one wild Venus retrograde. All right, God bless everyone. Stay cool. Talk to you soon. Adios. Until again. I mean, shit is crazy. And I would say we are definitely on full high red alert for hurricane season. I mean, should, should, should I poke you back to here? You know? It only takes one. And how many did we hit by in 2017? Was it like three? All right.